Respect. Domestic violence is something not to play with, respectfully. Just because someone looks good at the end of the day or whatever high-paying job they may just have at the end of the day, love is not supposed to hurt. I don't care who you are, what color skin you are, what disability you are, what religion you are, at the end of the day, love is not supposed to hurt. Love is not supposed to allow you to feel less of a person. Love is not supposed to allow you to feel... It's okay for somebody to verbally abuse you, mentally abuse you, physically abuse you. That is not love. And if you feel like that's love, you really need a reality check one-on-one. Because it's something that you're accustomed to seeing in your upbringing, no, that is not okay. And for it to be transpiring and you have kids, no, that behavior is definitely not okay. Respectfully, it's not. Allowing somebody to come into your life... They had one job to do. One job to do. Respect you. If they couldn't follow that simple rule and respect you and everything else falls into place after that, they would never respect you. They would never treat you as the person you're deserving to be because at the end of the day, you allow it to pile up. You allow the behavior to constantly be a repeat over and over again. And it looks like you like it respectfully because you're not standing up for yourself and because you're in fear of standing up for yourself the abuse will continue to happen because you're not standing up for yourself because you're in fear sometimes in life we have to start all over and it's okay to start all over sometimes in life we may not have family to fall back on or that relative or family friend to fall back on but one thing for certain, two things for sure, you got to fall back on yourself and find yourself, genuinely find yourself. Because that person is not giving you the benefits that you accustomed to getting because you're, 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 you're in fear of losing that money, whatever they're giving you, or you're in fear of losing that home, or you're in fear of losing whatever y'all have in common with each other, and you're in fear. The only fear you're allowing yourself is to short yourself out of your own life respectfully because once it becomes verbal it becomes physical and once the physical starts it continues it continues and continues how many stories do you have to continue to hear from somebody how many black and blues do you have to continue to see that somebody genuinely loves you that is not love and if you feel like that's love dear yeah, love is blind for real for real love is damn sure blind because love is not supposed to hurt Love is supposed to make you feel like love at first sight, like when you genuinely met that person. Love is supposed to make you feel like, you know what? This is the person I decide to create more memories with in a healthy way. This is the person I choose to say, you know what? I'm going to spend the rest of my life with this person. This is the person I choose to say, you know what? This person genuinely respects me for me. This person is not putting my back against the wall and making me feel like I'm less of a person. This person is not allowing me to feel like I got my back against the world wall and I have to lose everything. I have to jeopardize my life because I have to put me first. That's not love. That's not love. And for you to have to step up and be a voice for yourself, it's okay to come out of that comfort zone because you are your voice. And because your voice doesn't mean nothing to that person, that's another reason for you to get away from that person because you don't matter to that person. That person can say all day long, I love you, I love you, I love you. I would not do nothing to bring harm to you. But when they brought harm to you the third or fourth time, was that acceptable? Was that sorry really a sorry? Or was that just a scary-ass, grown-ass, oversized adult? That didn't have no type of sense of direction at the end of the day to let them know, love themselves, to know, you know what? Love is not supposed to hurt. How can I say I love somebody and I'm bringing harm to them? How can I say I love somebody and I'm disrespecting them? That's not love. Blacking somebody eye and then sitting there telling you love them, that is not love. That's not. Allowing somebody to make you feel like you can't talk to your, your peoples, your family and stuff, that is not love. And especially if you don't have malicious ways towards anybody, you're just the kind, genuine, sweet person that you are. A person that tries to take control over a narrative over your life that has a problem 
and that's the person that you say that's your forever, they would not allow you to feel like, you know what? I don't want to wake up today because I have to deal with you. Nobody should ever have to feel like that, especially in the comfort of their own home, that they share with somebody, that they allowed in their home, or however the situation may go. Dealing with somebody and they verbal abuse, they cheating on you, bring you back STDs and all that weird malicious stuff. That's love? That is not love. That's not love. And if that's love, you really need to find yourself. You do, respectfully. Because if somebody can jeopardize your life when they feel like it, it tells a lot about who you are after some point in time. Being in fear is one thing. Having unawareness is another thing. But when you know that's not right, when you know it's not right, at some point in time, you wake up from that dark dream. Because it's a dark, dark dream. That you can't get out of. It's so dark and deep that you're so lost in your own training of thoughts as to, I just want to show up for myself. I don't want to deal with this. Why should I have to deal with this? You know those replaying thoughts that go in your head? Why me? I don't want this for myself. Yeah, you don't. You don't deserve that for yourself. You don't deserve that for you or your children. And for somebody to feel like that's love and to abuse you in front of your kids, or disrespect you or mistreat your children in front of you? Save yourself today. Like, for real, for real, save yourself. It's too much help out here for you not to not get the help that you deserve and need. The system is the system, but if you don't step out of your comfort zone, you won't be able to get the help that you deserve and need. Because somebody's wanting to help you. But you just got to speak up for yourself and get the right help. Because domestic violence is real. Don't wait till it's too late. Because your life matters. Regardless of whoever gave up on you at the end of the day. Don't give up on yourself. It's okay to start all over. It's okay to start all over. That's probably one of the biggest blessings you probably have in store for yourself that you least expected because it's a blessing in disguise. But you have to see it for yourself. Love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. You deserve to be treated with respect 365 days with no malicious intentions towards anyone. Respect.